Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's game, I've got two games on the tabletop that we we'll be talking and reviewing together. The first one is going to be called Dude by North Star Games, and I think it is three to six players, ages 13 and up, and this is a card game. And then finally, we're going to talk about more dude, in case you need more dude than just the original dude. In the game dude and more dude, you're basically just going to be saying the word dude. That's it. Saying the word dude. And of course, you're going to try and match the way you say it with somebody else based on the cards that you've got. And if you can make sure that you match all of your cards with at least somebody in the group, uh, discard your hand. Whoever has the most points after the first person discards is going to be the winner. If you say the card's name wrong uh, with somebody else, maybe I say dude with a question mark and you say just dude and we think we match. We can lose points that way, but that's the basic idea. Let me go ahead and take you down and show you what is in both of the boxes, and then I'm going to give you a really quick explanation, and we'll go ahead and talk about it. So here we have Dude and More Dude and the contents in the game. Obviously, this is a card game, so it's going to come with a rule book and it's going to come with a big deck of cards. In each game, you're going to basically be getting a deck of cards with different colors. This one here is going to be an orangish color. Then we've got like a purple and then we got a blue. There's six different colors in total in the deck. And uh, if for the first game, Dude, it's just going to have cards that say dude on the back. Dude with a period, dude with a W, dude with a lot of O's, a dude with a little swirly, uh, and maybe a, uh, was it a do a very, very small dude. And so this is how it's going to work. Everybody's going to get a car, uh, their, car their deck in their hand, just like this. And then just like Happy Salmon, uh, which I think I have right here, a very, very similar game, and uh, Funky Chicken, you're basically going to be uh, flipping one of these cards over and then saying it as you think it should be said. So a small dude may be like, dude, dude, or something maybe quick, dude, dude. And everybody else is going to be doing the same thing. They're going to flip over their card and they're going to be, dude, dude. And if uh, you find a person who matches with you, so in this case, so you both have the same card and uh, you both are saying it the same way, hopefully, you can say, sweet. And if you guys do match, you'll place the card down and then you'll both take the cards uh, from your top of your deck and draw new ones and start saying them again. This will be the same one. So you say it the same way. And this guy probably say it a little louder, but straightforward, dude, dude, right? And uh, if you can find somebody who matches, then once again, you would continue. If not, uh, you're gonna go ahead and put the card from the top onto the bottom. Now, another thing that could happen is if let's say that you both thought that uh, you were saying it correctly uh, and the same, this is actually one that would be very similar and very likely to happen. If you both said sweet, thinking you said it at the same time correctly and you didn't, you would lose the card face down and then you would take the next cards. Remember, you have to at least play with um, two, three players in order for this to work. Uh, so this one here is dude, right? And once again, sweet, place face down. And once somebody goes ahead and discard, uses all their cards, whether they be face down or face up, you're going to then have everybody count whatever is face down or face up on the on, on the ground or on the table. And whoever has the most points is the winner. In this case, if it was like this, this guy would definitely be the winner. Uh, and that's the basic idea of the base game. Dude, let me go ahead and tell you about this one over here now. So I'm going to put these guys up over here. Like I said, this is six players. And there is also an expansion for one more dude if you want to play seven players for either game. This is more dude. It's another game where you say dude. But in this circumstance, being the same exact rules, you're going to be looking at characters and the word dude, like this cowboy over here, or this pirate, or this robot, or this surfer. We've also got an Italian guy and a ghost. Those are the main ones. Uh, I think I said the robot. Yeah, these are the main ones right here. And so you're going to try and say it in the way you think these characters would say it. Dude. A dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. Dude. Or... Dude, <laughs> if you can, <laughs> hopefully I did okay. But uh, you're gonna be trying to do the exact same thing with this game as you would with this, but instead you're using the characters of uh, of the dude, right? As opposed to how it is written. But nevertheless, it's pretty much the same thing as far as these games are concerned. So which one is better? Which one should you buy? Should you get both of them? Let's come up and I'll tell you. So when it comes to quick family filler card games, North Star Games does an amazing job. I have Happy Salmon and I have Funky Chicken. And just recently at Gen Con, they handed me dude and more dude to check out. Now the differences between all four of these games, which I kind of want to talk about because it's a pretty simple example or a thing that I can, I can explain, is not only how you do things or how you say things, but how you're going to relate with people in a room. Happy Salmon is of course doing things with your hands. It involves doing the happy salmon, the fist bump, the high five, so on and so forth. The funky chicken is where you're going to be doing a little chicken dance and you're twirling around. It involves a little bit more body movement. And then you have dude. Dude is where you're going to be talking, right? You're going to be saying the word dude, or dude, or dude, so on and so forth, trying to match with players. It works the same as these games here, but you're using words, and it can be a little bit tricky, right? 
more dude gets even more tricky because now you're wondering what people are supposed to be sounding like. Is it a ghost? Is it a cowboy? Or is it a robot? Is it a surfer? And um, I've played all of these games and they're all very, very fun. Any of these games will work as a quick filler family party game and they are definitely ones to check out. If you don't own at least one of these games, I highly, highly suggest you pick one up because they work really well in a party setting. They work really well quickly and you can mix and match all of these games really and play them all together. And it's just a whole bunch of fun. Uh, if I were to choose between Dude and More Dude, I actually prefer the original Dude over More Dude because this one actually you can kind of tell a little bit better as far as um as far as understanding people unfortunately my wife is fairly deaf she's very 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 uh she has very, very low healing in this ear and no hearing in this ear and so when she's trying to understand the different accents and whatnot whether it be the ghost or the pirate or the cowboy it's a little more difficult for her but this is a little more challenging for those that want a little bit more of a challenging party game it's a dexterity challenging party game it's still just kind of a fun little quick thing that you do and uh, no one's gonna get mad or upset that they lost you're just having a lot of fun joking around but uh, this one is um if, if you want to be more straight to the point this is the dude is the main dude is where you go dude dude this is definitely the one to pick up um but both are fun do you need both of the games probably not however if you're a big fan of this big group of games from north star games i would suggest picking it up if you already have funky chicken and happy salmon the additional happy salmon for more players dude and more dude just gives you a more different variation of how to play the same style of game but you're using words as opposed to using actions it's also a little bit easier to play around on tabletop as opposed to when you're playing funky chicken we had to take this outside because you can't just go ahead and simply play it around a table it gets a little crazy you have to do swinging arm motions and whatnot even happy salmon is a little bit more engaging in that way so maybe actually just picking up a dude and a happy salmon or a, a dude and a funky chicken that would all work these games are great i give them all my seal of approval they're all super fun they're all really really enjoyable and we play these multiple 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 times i've seen people playing at uh, gen con constantly we see jason levine sitting there playing dude with people telling how great the game is and that's because it is it's super fun and super enjoyable should you pick this game up yes which one should you pick up that's up to you as far as negatives for all the games here uh, it just depends on who you are. If you're a little more hard of hearing, these games are going to be more difficult for you. If you're a little less able, then these games are going to be a little more challenging for you. This is probably going to be the easiest of the bunch as far as um, depending on what type of disability you may or may, or may not have, um, as well as just this basic one here. But realistically, they're all fun. And you're going to find at least one of these games is going to fit your flavor, I think. I, I love these games. They're so much fun. North Star Games does a great job at making these quick filler party games. I highly suggest checking them out. Dude, Funky Chicken and Happy Salmon! Go ahead and check it out. Description below.